This video tells you about the settings that Amazon don't want you to change or even know about. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video shows you about the settings that Amazon don't want you to know about. They don't want you to change, but it's a good idea to change them because it does make your Fire TV stick or Fire TV Cube run faster and better. Less interruptions, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the settings one by one and we're going to tell you exactly how and why they improve the experience and why you should turn them off. So first of all, let's go into the main settings menu. Now, what we need to do to do this is we need to press and hold the home button on the remote control until this menu appears, then let go of it. Go across to settings over there, highlight that and then middle button, and then hopefully you should get this screen up. Now, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go across to display and audio. Once you've highlighted that middle button, and then we go into screensaver. Now you might be thinking, why do I want to turn the screensaver off? Well, the screensaver can interrupt some apps. It obviously takes RAM, processing power and storage to be able to function. And I know on some Fire TV sticks, this can take a lot of storage. So it's a good idea to turn this off. So the current screensaver is the Amazon collection, which is adverts basically for Amazon stuff. Okay, Amazon have got the right to put adverts on their own device. They do subsidize this device quite heavily in terms of cost. And obviously the reason for this is because they wanna be able to push out their own adverts, but we don't want them. We want to have our device running as quietly and as efficiently as possible. So what we cut, what we need to do is we need to go down to start time. Okay, highlight that middle button and then go down to never middle button. And then we need to turn the date and the clock off as well because again, that's taking processing power. So turn that off. Display info, turn that off as well. Again, that's taking processing power. So is the Alexa hint, so turn that off. Shuffle again turn that off again. So what we should be left with is the current screensaver can be anything you like, doesn't matter. The slide style can be anything you like, doesn't matter. The slide speed again can be anything you like, but start time must be never, date and clock must be off, display info must be off, Alexa hints must be off, and shuffle must be off. Now, I'm gonna press the back button on the remote control a couple of times here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go across to applications next, middle button and then go down to manage installed applications and then middle button. Then what I need to do is I need to go down to screensaver. Now it is in alphabetical order, so it might be near the bottom. So once we see screensaver, highlight it, go into it. And what we wanna do is we wanna go into full stop, okay? And then we wanna go into clear data, clear data again, then clear cache, and that will clear out any extra data or any extra cache that's been taken up. On some Fire TV sticks, the cache and the data can take up quite a lot. I must admit, on recent ones, it doesn't do it so much, but some older ones, it will take up quite a lot of information and you'll regain quite a lot of space. So let's press the back button a couple of times to come out of this. And we wanna go up then to App Store. Now, if you've, if you've pressed too many back too many times, so you'll be back at this menu or might be back at the home screen. If you're back at the home screen, press and hold the home button on the remote till this appears, then go across to settings, then middle button. And then when you're here, you wanna go back into applications again, okay? And wanna go down to App Store. So highlight App Store, middle button on the remote, and then we've got options here. So we want automatic updates to be on because when our apps update, we want the latest apps to come through. On external market links, we really want this set to ask before opening. So if yours is set to open with the Amazon App Store or don't open, you could have it set to don't open, I suppose, but ask before opening is probably best. Now this means if there's any external links in any of the apps, then it's gonna ask you whether you wanna open them or not. 
okay if you set to don't open then it won't open at all and if open with amazon the amazon app store will uh, it's set then it will open up without even asking you any external marketing links in app purchases i always like to make sure this is turned off because you could get some nasty surprises. If you've got in-app purchases on, then what's gonna happen is if you go into an app and it requires payment for something, it's just gonna take payment straight away. With in-app purchases switched off, then it will mean that it can't automatically start taking money from your Amazon account, it'll block it. Okay, so make sure that in-app purchases are off. And we wanna go down to notifications here because I don't want notifications popping up related to the App Store. Again, takes processing power, it's gonna interrupt you. So turn this off. Press the back button a couple of times and we wanna go down next to preferences. So highlight preferences, middle button, and in preferences, we wanna go down to privacy settings. So go down one, make sure privacy settings is highlighted, middle button, and then here we've got a couple of options here we should really change. Device usage data. So it says here, use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. Well, again, this is sending private information to Amazon, which, okay, we can trust Amazon, but again, more importantly, it's taking up processing power, RAM and possibly storage. So we wanna turn this off. And when we turn, go to turn it off, it'll come up with more of an explanation about what it, what it does. So I'm gonna just press the middle button again to turn off and make sure that device usage data is turned off. The next one down is collect app usage data. Again, it, it says allow App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. So it gives, gives Amazon an idea of what apps you're using, what you're not using. So they've got an idea of what the more, po more popular apps are compared with the least popular. Again, good idea, but it's taking up processing power. It's also sending information out to the internet. So it's taking up bandwidth. Okay, very little bandwidth, but it's still taking up bandwidth. Turn it off. So again, highlight it, middle button, and then middle button again to turn off. Interest-based ads. Now this isn't gonna stop, turning this off isn't gonna stop ads altogether, but it's gonna mean that it's, it's not, it's gonna protect your privacy a bit. So it says allow apps to use the, allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based ads that display products and services that might be of interest to you. Well, I don't really like Amazon tracking me and uh, showing ads on what they think I might be interested in. So I'm gonna turn that off as well. So turn it off and middle button again to, to confirm that. Press the back button on the remote control once and then go down to notification settings. Once that's highlighted, middle button on the remote and notifications. So it's got here, do not interrupt. If that is turned off, turn it on. I don't want apps notifying me of this, that and the other when I'm using my Fire Stick. I don't want it popping up. Again, it takes processing power, it takes RAM. So turn it on middle button on the remote and there you go that goes to on back button once then go down to featured content middle button on the remote and here is allow video autoplay now this is the adverts you get on the main menu on the fire tv stick and the fire tv cube so let's just give you an example when you're in the main menu here and you go up it will start playing video ads now, it won't show you that on this because I don't have the right to show you, but it, it started playing an ad there. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but uh, it did start playing an ad, which is, is, I don't want. I don't want video ads. There's no way you can stop these ads coming up on the front screen of the Fire Stick, but I really don't want you know video ads coming up. Again, these take up processing power, they take up GPU power, and they take up RAM. Um, internet as well internet usage as well so turn that off and we don't want the audio either so turn that off as well because again it's taking up all those uh, all those things ram processing power gpu power and cpu power so back button a couple of times on the remote and hopefully you should be back at this screen if you're not press and hold the home button on the remote control then go across to settings then middle button so then lastly we want to go into my fire tv and then down to developer options and then middle button and then what we need to do is we need to ensure that install unknown apps 
all the apps that we want to allow to download to the Fire TV stick, we need to ensure these are switched on rather than off. Now, if you've got a older generation Fire TV stick with Fire OS 5 or Fire OS 6, you might have on this menu apps from unknown sources. If that is there, then make sure that you just turn that on and that should be sufficient. Now, if you don't have developer options in this menu, then what you need to do is you need to follow my other video. There'll be a link to it up in the top right hand corner right now, and that will show you what to do to get developer options back in there. So there we go. Hopefully these tips will help make your Fire Stick run better take up less internet power and take less GPU, CPU and RAM and storage and also give you an overall better experience with your Fire TV device. Don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look round? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.